Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Chinea here. Welcome back to our channel. I was in the middle of a workout this morning and I thought to myself, this vlog that I'm planning on doing could probably use an introduction and that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. Um, I had to break real quick from my workout and come and do this video. So excuse the bare face and all. Um, but this is a workout video, so not anything glamorous at all. So I figured, you know, I don't really need to put on a face and pancake and all of that. Let's just dive right into the goal of this video. I wanted to set everything up so you guys have an idea what happened, what I plan on doing, and how I plan on getting there. Okay, so recently, um, as recent as two weeks ago, I had my women's checkup, the annual checkup, that is usually done at a women's clinic. So I went and I had my appointments. Usually they check your um, information, make sure that nothing has changed, especially, you know, when it comes to health and your insurance and your address and all that. Everything done. Check, check, check. So they call me. And usually when they call you in to be seen by the physician, they check your um, your weight, not so much your height because that doesn't really change too much over time, but your weight. And I know that I have gained weight. And of course, the scale showed that and that didn't come as a surprise to me. I was expecting that. You know, they documented that. And then they go in to check my vital signs. Temperature was great. My oxygenation was great. They check my blood pressure, which usually reads in the hundreds low hundreds at most so they checked the blood pressure it was as high as 147 and you know my first the first thing that came to mind to me was that they used the wrong cuff they must have used the wrong cuff because there's no way my blood pressure that usually runs in the one tens is now 140 there's just no way and the girl who was documenting my blood pressure, you know, she noticed that change because they trend your blood pressure. So she asked me if there's any um, activity and prior to coming in. I said, you know, no, I, I slept. I knew I had the appointment. It was an early morning appointment because I had other things to do. I showered. Nothing unusual. We all go through stress. Even if I was having a lot of stress, it wouldn't be unusual for me because that's just life. It comes with a lot of stress. You deal with the ones you can deal with and the rest of the ones that I cannot handle, I just like swerve away from it. That's how I do my thing. So I just knew that it was the wrong cuff. So I requested that she use a bigger cuff because I felt that my arm got bigger. I gained weight. So why are you using the regular medium cuff to check my blood pressure? Of course, it's a cuff. So she gets another cuff, checks the blood pressure again. Now it's like 148. So it's not the cuff. Then it must be my arm. It must be the right arm. Maybe the right arm is reading the wrong pressure. Please check my left arm. Then check the blood pressure again. The systolic uh, blood pressure is reading 142. So not really that much of a difference from the first time they took it. So now I'm no longer pre pre now I'm no longer pre hypertensive. Now I am actually stage one hypertensive. I mean, of course, this is me just diagnosing myself. <laughs> of course, for you to get diagnosed with something like this, you have to have um, blood pressure taking over time. And that range has to be about the same in the 140s for them or whatever higher number you get for them to actually diagnose you and then um, discuss the treatments option, which is usually them telling you, uh, based on my background as a nurse, th this would be like a time to educate the patient. You need to watch your diet. You need to lower the sodium in your diet. Okay, and this is the medication you're going home with. Make sure you take your medication every day. Make sure you check your blood pressure at least once a week. That will be the nurse and me. And here I am sitting here with this high blood pressure and I'm thinking to myself, why am I not taking my own advice, right? So I got home um, and about a week after that, I'm thinking to myself, the, the blood pressure is still got to be wrong. Like, there's no way you jump from 110 to like 140. And I didn't go from 110 to 120. I didn't go from 110 to 130. I went from 110 to 140. 
I was still thinking to myself, maybe there's something wrong. So what I did is afterwards, I um, I had a shift at work. I checked my own blood pressure at work without anybody seeing me. <laughs> and um, it was still in the 140s. So, um, I said, okay, maybe it's just like this week. Maybe it's this week. Maybe it's like the stress of the holiday season. And, um, I was, I was, um, going to Ross. I went to Ross, um, over the holidays. A little, maybe like second week. No, first week of January. I went to Ross. I picked up a blood pressure cuff. I came home. I checked my blood pressure at home. And that one was like 149. So then and there, I decided that I have to lose weight this year. It's not even, it's no longer an option. It's no longer for me to like fit into my clothes or anything like that, which will be great. Of course, it will be, <laughs> it will be awesome because I'm not even buying any more clothes. I am like rejecting this weight right now. So I decided then and there that I have to lose weight. I have to lower my blood pressure because if I continue at this range, these are the things that could lead to stroke. These are the things that could lead to a heart attack. Like, what am I doing? I am 31 years old. There's no reason, no reason whatsoever for my blood pressure to remain this high. None. So I'm um, taking the action to lose the weight. And I know when I lose the weight, the blood pressure will go down. I decided to document my journey. I think it will be cool to have. And I think I watched... Too many vlogs. I watch the CME all the time. <laughs> so I, I thought it's, it's a cool idea to look back and see where I was versus where I got to. And this is um, to assume that I will get to my goal, which I am hoping that I do. So I'm still on this journey. Today is uh, January the 11th. Today was my first day of full workouts. I'm going to show you guys a clip of that. So out of breath. Okay, so that concludes the first thousand. It's a wrap for the day. Oh my gosh, I'm so out of shape. What I plan on doing is checking my blood pressure once every week. I feel like if I check it every single day, it will drive me crazy. Okay, I'll be checking my blood pressure once every week and I'll be giving updates on my weight loss at least. Um, every quarter so every three months I will give you guys uh, my weight loss number body shots things like that so if you guys are interested in joining me in this journey all you have to do is get a jump rope of course you have to have um, pretty much good extremities good knees good hands if you have any issues with your knees you want to of course check with your physician and make sure it's okay for you to be jumping on um, uh, jump in with the jump rope so make sure everything is cleared get yourself a jump rope because most of my weight loss will be um, most of my weight loss exercise will be done at home um, I don't have the luxury of time right now because of the girls school my girls school um, my own school my own job all of that I just don't have the time to go to the gym and back and forth and most of my workouts will be with just a jump rope and some weights that I have at home I will also be incorporating a few of um, YouTube workout videos so I'll be sharing that with you guys join me on the journey if you like to lose weight or if you just like to watch and see where this takes me my goal is to get that blood pressure way way low back to where it was back to my baseline because I know I know I could do this <laughs> I just know I can do it and um yeah I plan on doing it so join me in this plan every three months I'll be checking in with you guys to tell you how the weight loss is going but I do plan on working out at least five days a week and those five days in the week that I'll work out I will share the video with you guys okay so if you have any question any comments any concerns put that in the comment section 
the goal is just like better health better health for me um, I want to be around for my girls to grow up um, I don't want to take any medication at this point I just don't want to I prefer a life without medication because any kind of medication comes with a side effect that I can just pretty much eliminate by not taking the medication in the first place so now I know I can exercise some kind of control in the way I eat I can exercise some kind of control in the way I work out I want to do that first I want that to be my first um, course of action before anything else so let's see how that goes join me I will see you guys in the next video bye bye